We're now going to take a look at a few methods of wireless transmission media used in communication systems, particularly the styles of microwave, satellite, radio and infrared. The first one we're going to look at is microwave and basically a high frequency signal is sent from big towers. Okay, These towers are known as transponders Okay, and they're placed about uh, 40 to 50 meters apart Okay, and the signal is sent directly through line of sight from one tower to another. So if we're going to take a look at what this looks like, here are our transponders, okay, and they're all spaced out, and then they basically send a signal that is about 40 to 50 kilometers apart. Okay, so if we're going to space them out, we need to space them out in that distance and send the actual signal from one transponder to another, and that's how it spreads over a wide geographical region. Okay, this type of microwave um, communication is used by telephone networks, internet service providers, as well as other companies using remote monitor for remote monitoring and management. The next type we're going to look at is satellite. Now, satellite tries to eliminate the line of sight barriers that can often happen, okay? Uh, geographical sites often have buildings and things that get in the way. So transponders may not be effective in getting the signal around. So what we do is we set up a satellite. So we set up our transponders, okay? And they're still spaced out uh, far apart. But we set a satellite up in space. And that satellite rotates with the rotation of the Earth. So it's always kind of in the same geographical location above the Earth, moving with the Earth's movement. When data is sent up to the satellite, it is known as an uplink. Okay, And then when the satellite returns that same data back to the Earth, it's known as a downlink. So basically, it's the greatest distance we can send a communication signal Okay, using a communication technology. Next, we'll look at radio waves, and radio is basically used for our wireless technologies. Okay, we all know of radio towers giving out a radio signal to listen to on the radio, but also it's used for technologies such as Wi-Fi when we set up our home Wi-Fi networks. Okay, as well as uh, other technologies as RFID, okay, uh, NFC, which we do our tap and go with, okay, as well as Bluetooth when we pair up our devices. Okay, so if we have a look, here's my router, and that can act as the center of my radio network. It will send out a signal, okay, and it may allow for my PC to connect with my printer, okay, and may also allow for my TV to connect with the internet, okay, so we can build up these wireless networks locally within our house using radio technologies, as well as in shopping centers and uh, at McDonald's the way they've got their hotspots so that all these different devices can communicate with each other without any type of cabling necessary. The final one we're going to look at is infrared. Okay, and infrared basically is the simplest form of communication. It's just a line of sight uh, using the infrared laser. Okay, the actual type of light used is uh, a very low frequency. Okay, and it's direct line of sight. Okay, your TV remote with your TV uses infrared. You basically have to aim the signal directly at the receiver for it to hit and it's usually over a short range okay so we've got to remember that so in order to illustrate this okay here's my TV here's my remote control okay and if I'm gonna make my remote work and communicate with the TV I've got to aim it directly at the TV okay it will hit the sensory bar in the corner okay and the TV will respond it will turn on it will do whatever but if there's anything in the way Okay, the signal will not communicate with the TV and it's easily blocked. So that's the main downfall of infrared. But it's simple, cheap and easy to set up. Many things still use infrared technology. So we've obviously got home entertainment, but in intrusion detectors, fire detectors, medical diagnostic equipment, where we are close range. Okay, and we've got direct line of sight from the sender and the receiver. So I hope this all gives you a better understanding of the wireless communication mediums that are in existence of uh, microwave technology, satellite, radio and infrared, and basically where and when they're used okay, throughout communication systems.